Let's install R and R Studio, and I'll take you through the process and why we're installing them as we go. So the first step is to go to this link, and I'm gonna put a link to this in the video description below. And if you navigate to this link, it will take you to a website which gives you two stages. So number one, uh, to install R, and the second to install R Studio. So R is basically the programming language that we're gonna use, it's a bit like Python. And R Studio is the tool that we're going to use to edit code in R. And it's a bit like uh, Visual Studio, for those of you who have used Visual Studio, or a tool like Vim uh, for other users. So let's install R to begin with. So first of all, we're going to click on this link to download and install R. Now this will take you to this website. It looks a little bit complicated, but basically you, you need to pick the one that's relevant for your operating system, in this case for Mac. So you're going to click on download R for Mac OS, and then pick the release or the version of the software. This is the very top, so this is uh, the most up-to-date version. So if you click on that, it will provide you with a place to download it. I've actually already downloaded it because uh, uh, just to save any delays, but then once that's finished, it will show up and you'll be able to install it. So we're gonna click on this link here and it will bring up a, 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 a sequence of steps that we can run through to install R, and these should be pretty straightforward for most uh, users. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna just quickly uh, go through the sequence. Uh, you can read the license as well. Um, I generally recommend just using the default options. You can change the installation location, but just uh, go with the defaults unless you know what you're doing. So now it's gonna ask you to put a password in. So I'm going to enter a password. And once we've done that, we'll click on install software and it will install R. For us. So that's the first step. So we've installed R uh, once this is finished. And then we will do the second step, which will be installing R Studio. So let's close that. We've successfully installed R. And now we'll close this link and we'll go back to this uh, page. Let's install R Studio, which is the editor we're going to use to work with R code and run scripts. Again, I've already downloaded it, but if you click on the link, it will take you to this and you can just uh, specify uh, where you want to download it. Um, and then again, we will open this uh, particular link and it will take us to this option where we're just going to drag our studio over to applications. So let's do that. And then I already have our studio installed, but let's pretend that I don't. We're just going to replace it. So we're going to replace it. Um, or we'll just, uh, it may not even ask you if you don't already have it installed. So it installs our studio. And now we can double click on our studio and it will open up our editor. So let's do that. And uh, in a moment, I'll show you one more resource that might be helpful, which is a book on data science, which is freely available online. One of the best things about our studio is it's actually completely free. So we are able to work with R very efficiently. And, and here's an editor in our studio. I'm not gonna go into how to use it at this particular point, but at this stage, you've already successfully installed R in our studio. Now, if you're new to R, I highly recommend this book, which is called R for Data Science. It's a free online book. It's I didn't write it. This is written by um, a number of other people. But this is, is, as far as I know, the best introduction to how to work with data in R. And it covers a whole bunch of topics, starting with how to visualize data and how to transform the data in different ways, how to tidy it, how to import data, and a whole bunch of other things. So this is uh, this, for me, has been one of the most helpful resources when I have been learning to use R, and I still learn new things from it. Um, and this is the second edition, which is the most up-to-date. So I highly recommend that you check it out, and uh, good luck and, and welcome uh, to the R community.